So starting out, we have to go enable uh, CIFA and PZB. So if you just get up and go to this back door here and walk down the hallway, uh, you'll see the controls where you enable them on the right here. Let's start with your, you have the PZB mode. So if you wanted to do freight or passenger service, you would switch that and then you can switch this PZB and see for on and the only other control here is the battery here so we're done here none of these other switches really matter right now so let's go get in the seat all right so let's get the train set up do all these things get the lights uh, switched to white on this end and turn our cab lights on so we can see The, uh, raise the pantograph, close the circuit breaker, make sure the power is on, the train lights on, and the power, main power. Yeah. Um, turn on the brake key so we can operate the brakes. Press a little charge to make sure you get some air in the system. I like to set it on low setting there so we don't roll away. We don't need wipers. Uh, these are all our PZB controls, headlight brightness. Passenger door controls. Uh, we need to insert our, um, our reverser. Turn the handle and select it forward in the direction we're going. Whoops. There we go. Since we have PZB enabled, uh, that 85 lit up on our dash. Let's open the doors. Oh, sorry, lock the doors. So we're ready to go. Let's pull out. And so as we come up to some of these signs, I'll explain them. So this H here. Uh, when you pull into the station, <clears throat> that's that's optimally where you want to stop, where you see the H sign, if there's one available. If not, and there's a signal there, you could just pull right at that signal so you can still see it. And if you see a black arrow, a black box with a white arrow on that, any signs on the track, they're showing you which track it applies to. But typically, uh, so here, here's our first signal. And what is that telling us? Uh, this HB signal here, you can pause this here if you want to read all of this, but it's basically telling, breaking down the different signal heads and telling you what each signal head means. Now, there's also, uh, I'm going to have another chart that shows the different lights and aspects and what they mean. That's CIFA. So we acknowledge that yellow uh, on that sign so our 1000 hertz light lit up so we have to slow down we shouldn't be going any more than 45 miles an hour here um, that that blinking back and forth between 70 and 85 is means we're in restrictive monitoring with our pzb is basically a test it's like a test and you shouldn't exceed 45 kilometers an hour when it's blinking that way sifa The signals and signs uh, on the track that you should worry about are the ones immediately to the right of your track. Eighty-five is still blinking, meaning that uh, we're, we're we're being monitored by that one thousand hertz magnet. So we have to maintain a reduce speed here and here we're coming up to another signal it 
It's got a green and a yellow. See the green and the yellow there? We're not looking at the one on the left. We're looking at the one on the right. And also, there's a little white speed sign behind it with a six with an arrow pointed to our track. That means when we pass that, we can do 60 kilometers an hour. So the yellow and green means C, expect reduced speed. The next main signal is displaying a reduced speed aspect. And if you refer to that old chart, that other chart, you will see that these diagonal signal heads mean that they're displaying information for us, a, a, a main signal that's coming up. So it gives you a head start. And these are usually placed at breaking points where if there's an issue or need you to stop, uh, you got time to stop. So we need to acknowledge that with our PCB. So you see, now that 1000 hertz lit up again. You need to acknowledge any, also need to acknowledge any speed reduction signs below 100. So if they have a 10 on them, it's okay, but a nine, you might want to acknowledge that. Those larger white signs with the numbers on it are kilometer markers or like sort of uh, letting you know where you are. So here we have another signal and I'm showing you here, this main signal here has a yellow and green for the main, and that means reduce speed, proceed at 40 kilometers an hour. So let's pass that, acknowledge it. Nothing happened, but uh, we're supposed to be doing 40 in here. And I'm actually speeding up right now, which is making us over speed. We're going over the uh, over the speed limit here. Eighty five still blinking. Sifa. Here's a ten. So multiply that by ten. That's a hundred. So once our train passes that. Our limit is 100. I'd like to set it on this AFB since it's multiple of a ten, multiples of 10. I usually set it back at 90 because I typically don't run more than five. I usually stay like five miles per hour and below it. So what are we expecting with this signal? It's all green. Look at the aspects there, all green. It means clear. CIFA. Now 85 stop blinking, meaning that we can proceed at line speed. Arriving at our next station. And here we have another signal coming up. SIFA. And what do we have here? Two greens. D. No, I'm sorry. B. Expect clear. Our main signal is clear. And here's our main signal coming up. And it's all green. Sifa. There's a 12 speed sign, so when we pass that, uh, when our train is completely past this signal here, um, 
we can do one, uh, 120 kilometers an hour. Nothing to acknowledge at this signal, we just push right on through. Sifa. Super. All right, pulling into our next stop, Hamburg Wandsbeck. Sifa. That signal is clear ahead. On the bottom of the signals, there's a little white box with a black X in it. Uh, you'll find those um, on the on the same uh, on on signposts as well. Just past the 14, the signal is clear. Our limit is now 140 kilometers an hour. greens when you see that little white one there that means there should be a that that's a repeater and it's it's also displaying information about a main signal that's coming up that was a ks uh repeater by the way All clear. Oh, we need to stop here. 
So there right, we get to show you what happens on an emergency stop here. So let's uh let's throw the brakes on full. Sifa, let's just come to a stop here. Now that was a, a distant signal a di that we just passed. So let's stop here and we have to reverse back to the platform. We overshot the station. Now when this happens, there's nothing you can do but just proceed to reverse the train to the platform. You can't proceed to the next stop. If you uh, hit a red signal going back, uh, that's the end of your session, but hey, maybe you're lucky. And uh, we're lucky this time. So let's go ahead and reverse back to the platform. We're only 300 uh, meters away. Only. But that's what happens when you're talking and not necessarily paying attention to driving. 1000 hertz light is uh, blinking. Sifa. We're back to monitoring. Let's shut that off. Let's uh, use our override. And there it is. We're out of that. So let's go ahead and pick up speed. I think we're good up to 140. I just set it to 130. CFA. Next stop, Hamburg Rolstead. Approach markers. There's a, in 75 meter intervals, and uh, they show you an upcoming signal. signal coming up. All clear. All right, so if you look right there at that signal we're about to pass, you see those stripes that are on the pole? These, uh, if you could pause here and read this, and this will tell you how to read, you know, what does those stripes mean? As far as uh, for train sim world, A and B are the same. They just mean they're uh, main signals. Then C is, a, um, is um, a yellow arrow showing that it's a combined KS system with distant information as well as main signal information. But in our example, it was just a main. So let's pull up here and stop. Let's see, we have another sig uh, a signal is all clear. That is a distant, C is diagonal. Now arrive in Hamburg Rostad.
uh, for detailed information on PZB, uh, LZB, um, uh, track signage, uh, track uh, 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 signal aspects, refer to uh, the manuals. Dovetails has manuals online. You can just Google TS, uh, Train Sim World uh, manuals and go to the German routes and they'll give you a whole breakdown of all of this. I'm just trying to condense it and bring it to you in a convenient way. But uh, for in-depth study, I, I mean, I would uh, certainly study those. If you want to drive without no HUD, if you want to drive without the HUD, then whatever. clear all clear Sifa. Clear. Or how the Germans say, all is clear. Clear. Sifa. A speed limit still is one forty. Clear. About one and a half kilometers out from Ironsburg. Clear. This is speed reduction of 13. So that means we have to get under 130. When we leave this station. being that it was not uh, 10 or over, um, we didn't have to acknowledge it. Sifa.
that H, as long as you stop right there, you're good. You see that on all the German routes. But not at all the stations. There's 13. Sifa. There's a 14, so we can go up to 140 now. All clear. Pulling into the station, Aaronsburg Garden Hopes. And the H is way down there. We'll just stop up here. Next and last stop, Bark the Hive. Clear, Sifa. Clear. Sifa. Three kilometers out. Oh, that's my fault because I think the last speed sign I saw was a 16. We should be doing 160, but, or at least 150. go what does that say uh, expect uh, reduce speed and here is a, a speed reduction sign coming up and you see there's a yellow nine and if you look over on that it showed us uh, how to read those gave you a little chart to, uh, to use and you can go back and pause that part and study it if you like or refer to it in the manuals. And here's that uh, reduced speed aspect we uh, that it, it was referencing. So take a look. 
So the main signal is showing uh, B, which is reduced speed in the distant. One is showing two yellows, which means expect stop. And there we go, we acknowledged it and we got a 1000 hertz light. So we need to slow down to 40 kilometers an hour. There's the nine. But since we're blinking, we have to stay in this as an 11, but we have to stay, we're, we're about to stop, so. But as long as that blue light is blinking, you have to maintain your restricted speed of 40 kilometers an hour until it stops blinking. CIFA. Yeah, we got a red coming up. So that's what it is right there. That is D and D is stop. Hertz light came on that took that restricted us uh, our speed as well. Let's go ahead and get these doors open and finish this session. And it was great. Um, hit the like for me, guys. Um, I really appreciate the support I get um, from you guys on this uh, channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm gonna do the KS uh, overview as well. Um, freight train, with a bunch of Benzes on it. And now we'll see you back here soon. This is great and have a good one.